This uh, evening, De Rothschild joins us now to talk about investing in China and his latest venture, Weather Central, here as well. So, Evelyn, thank you very much indeed for joining us. I just uh, want to get your views on how things have evolved. Has it become a more open society? Has it become an easier place to do business? Oh, I think it is, no doubt. I think it's a remarkable country. When you think of what has happened in the last 10 years, let alone 20 years, is, is an achievement beyond recognition. I think that one of the things that is so important is people must come to China, not only come to the East Coast, but to go into China and see the potential and see what has been developed by the government and by the private enterprise. A private enterprise is the biggest uh, earner of opportunities and I think it is remarkable and I think one can but say uh, the achievement should be recognized worldwide. You are indeed especially interested in uh, these reforms taking place to help the countryside along, aren't you? That's right, and uh, when I was here some time ago, I can't remember the exact date, uh, I had discussions with certain people in the government uh, because I had been involved in, I know it's small compared to China, by building a new town in England. And I think it was quite right that uh, when one went to Beijing major station and you saw uh, the people coming from the rural areas who had no jobs and had to be given an opportunity this was the right thing to do obviously it's complicated you have to put in the uh, necessary requirements of living uh, potential you've got to give them good facilities you've got to treat them fairly and obviously in the end it's not something that can happen overnight and I know your government at the moment is having its problems but I'm sure they'll overcome them. So I want to just get to the here and now when it comes to China. There's a bit of uncertainty but it's particularly a quandary as to what happens in terms of monetary policy. I believe that you've been talking to the People's Bank of China. What was the view you got from them? Well, I haven't talked to them. I had the privilege of talking to the uh, supervisor of the bank, uh, who's an old friend of mine, Mr. Liu Ming Kong, and uh, I listened to him very well at a very good conference given by J.P. Morgan uh, last week. And uh, I think the problem is, obviously, we live in a global world. Um, everyone is worried about how one can work closer. Um, we are all concerned about the American deficit and what is happening in the United States. Uh, there is a currency problem um, and it is very complicated. I think trade has dropped off a bit in the last quarter uh, and there's obviously the other important factor which affects people is the cost of food has gone up and that is probably the most major problem to world society for those who can't afford it when they go from one rimbi to two rimbis, that's a huge jump for whatever they're eating. And then the other question which comes up uh, all the time is are the regulation of the banks adequate? Uh, I believe there are problems of certain banks uh, in this country, or maybe not banks, but financial institutions as we call them, who have been involved in property. And of course property is a, is a requirement for all, but it also can have its ups and downs, and I believe there are problems here but I'm sure that uh, over a period of time they will be solved. We've seen the same problem in the European Union at the moment. And uh, I think that one's got to be patient, but it will be a rough time, in my humble opinion, for at least a year. Sir Evelyn, what about the RMB situation? You mentioned uh, a so-called currency problem. I mean, do you see the day in the next five years where it's uh, fully convertible and flexible? Well, you're talking to a person who's quite old. Uh, if I'm around in five years, I'd like to think that that is the case. Uh, I think we've all got to move towards that opportunity, and I think the challenge also is whether we should move towards an international currency, because uh, the speculation and the complexity of currency has caused some of the irritation, uh, not only among the trading nations, but among individuals. Um, but it's not for me to say how it will happen, but I think uh, everyone who knows how to deal with these situations is very cognizant of the problem it takes to go over it, get over it, and um, I think the RIMBY will become more convertible, but when it will come to that is a matter for obviously the powers that be. 
I want to just uh, change tack slightly. Of course, uh, China's seen, central China, parts of central China, seen the worst drought that they've had in uh, many decades. Now, you've got this investment with your wife in Weather Central. How could that actually help out in terms of planning for things such as droughts? Well, I think, uh, first of all, we have uh, 25 broadcast clients currently in China, uh, and we are the number one provider of broadcast weather graphics solutions in the country. I mean, you had this downpour, I believe, in the last 24 hours, which has caused even people losing their lives and uh, situations like this. With the detail that we can put up through the technology that we give to the various weather stations, uh, this makes people more aware of it. On the whole, it's a question of giving the opportunity. I mean, we have also launched uh, our, our, an operation called My Weather, uh, which gains access to the first truly personalized weather application for the web and mobile devices. You can go up on myweather.com and you can find out within a kilometer of where you are uh, what is going to happen to the weather. It also gives a 10-day forecast. I think we've got to be aware that we're living in a time I'm not going to get into the subject, which is a huge subject of climate change, but uh, we do have variations of all sorts around the world. Certainly in England we have a very precarious weather. We've had a drought up until about 10 days ago. Um, and I think it is important to realize that you can use technology, which is offered by myweather.com, uh, um, to tell you and be aware of what might happen to you especially among the farming community. Also, we are very interested in helping wind Sir power Evelyn. because it gives them... Sorry. Sir Evelyn, we're, we're just running out of time, but I wanted to thank you for stepping, uh, uh, well, stepping into our offices there in Beijing. Thank you very much indeed, Sir Evelyn. Well, I'm Rothschild. very honored that you gave me the opportunity, and I, I thank you very much.